Hi and welcome to MRTV. This is the video that lots of you have been waiting for. The HP Reverb G2 performance test. I'm pitting this headset against all the other headsets on the market using the OpenVR benchmark tool. And we got some really exciting results from these tests. And one you can already see from the title of this video. Yes, the G2 outperforms the Oculus Quest using Link in Steam VR games. So if you're already using the Quest and Link to play Steam VR games and you're happy with the performance, then good news for you, you will be able to use the G2 in full resolution mode and you will even get better FPS results. Amazing. So in this video, I'm going to check out all the other headsets. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back again here to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and in this channel is all about virtual reality. I'm bringing you unbiased and honest reviews of all the VR headsets, of VR accessories and you're getting the latest news. So if you want to see more videos just like this one here, absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And now without any further ado, let's directly get into the benchmarks. Now, this is the OpenVR benchmark tool and to understand the results, let's read this disclaimer here. The results of OpenVR benchmark are designed to be below 90 FPS for most GPUs. This does not mean your GPU is slow. Results are purely for comparative reasons and don't have any meaning themselves. The results in OpenVR benchmark are not representative of absolute FPS numbers in any VR game, including CubeVR. So that is really important. It means if you get 20 FPS in this benchmark, it does not mean that you get 20 FPS only in other games. All right, let's start here with the benchmark of the HP Reverb G2 in full resolution mode. And only for this first benchmark, let's watch the whole test. And during this test, I'm going to tell you a bit about this benchmark. Now, this benchmark was developed for checking out VR headsets. And the great thing is that this same scene is going to be rendered to all the headsets. So the comparison is perfectly fair. As long, of course, you're running this on the same system and that's exactly what I'm doing here. So for this system, it's an RDX 2070 Super and my CPU is the AMD Ryzen 5 3600. Now you're probably running a different system, so you can simply download the OpenVR benchmark tool. It's free on SteamVR and you can run this with your current VR headset and then compare the results. And since it's exactly the same scene, you will be able to yeah, get some interesting information out of this test. All right, and we are finished here with the Reverb G2 at full resolution and we're getting to 27.36 FPS for this OpenVR benchmark test and my system here. Now, what does this mean? Well, we're going to see this once we run all the other headsets. And before we do that, I also ran this at half resolution mode. Here you can see this at half resolution mode. And if you try to run this at half resolution, you'll get a warning message. But well, we simply want to check it anyways. And as you can tell here, this is way more fluid than with the full resolution mode, of course. And we're not going to have a look at the whole benchmark. Let's directly jump to the conclusion here. And for the G2 at half resolution mode, we came to 49.76 frames per second. So here's our first result. The Reverb G2 came in at 27 frames per second for the full resolution mode and 50 frames per second for the half resolution mode. And as you can tell here, I'm rounding up and down depending on the FPS value. And now the fun part starts because we're checking out the other headsets with the same test. And we start here with the Oculus Quest in link mode playing SteamVR content. And well, let's simply start here. And as you can tell FPS wise, it's very comparable to what we saw with the G2 at full resolution mode. And in the end, we get to the following end result for Quest and Link. 24.70 frames per second for Oculus Quest and Link Cable playing SteamVR content. 
Now, that is not really great and quite surprising because the Quest has less resolution, of course, than the G2. And the reason for this here is that, well, all the content that needs to be sent over that link cable is first being compressed and then has to be decompressed. And with all of this, it seems like lots of performance gets lost. So for a second headset, Quest comes in at 25 frames per second and that is only 0.93 times as good as the Reverb G2 and compared to the half resolution mode that still looks better than the original Quest with link cable mode, we get to a multiplier of 0.5, so only half as good as the Reverb G2 in half resolution mode. Now important, this is true for Steam VR games and we might see a different picture with native Oculus games, so that's important to keep in mind. Next we're having a look at the Vive Pro. And for the Vive Pro we're getting to the following result. 34.84 frames per second on this system with the OpenVR benchmark tool. So Vive Pro 35 frames per second and that is 1.3 times better than the Reverb G2 in full resolution mode and when comparing it to the half resolution mode of the Reverb G2 we get to a multiplier of 0.7. So what does this mean? It means, well, if you can hardly run your Vive Pro on your current system, you're definitely going to have problems with the Reverb G2 at full resolution mode. But running the Reverb G2 at half resolution mode, you're going to have a better performance than with your Vive Pro at the moment. And now we're going to check out the Valve Index. Really important and very interesting for lots of you, I believe. And for the Valve Index, we get two. 35.39 frames per second on this system with the OpenVR benchmark tool. So as you can tell, very comparable to the Vive Pro and we still have the same multipliers here. So 1.3, which means 30% more frames per second here for the index as compared to the Reverb G2 in full resolution mode. And again, if you can barely run the index with your current system, you're going to have problems with the Reverb G2. However, if you're running the index with no problems at all, then most likely you will also be able to run the Reverb G2. And HP says to run the G2 at full resolution, you will need at least a GDX 1080. And now we're getting to the Oculus Rift S. Now this should be really exciting. Lots of you are probably using the Rift S right now. And for the Rift S we get to 37.55 frames per second in this OpenVR benchmark tool on my particular system. So we're rounding this up to 38 frames per second and that is 1.41 times better than what the Reverb G2 has here in terms of frames per second for this benchmark. So this is 41% more frames per second here as compared to the Reverb G2, but for the half resolution mode, we see a multiplier of 0.76. So if you can run the Rift as well on your system, you will be able to run the Reverb G2 at half resolution mode even better. And the Reverb G2 at half resolution mode looks way better than the Rift S in full resolution mode. And well, check out my video about this here. Again, this is about OpenVR content, so Steam VR content, and this is not true and might be different for native Oculus games. And now let's check out the original Rift CV1. And for this to work, I had to cover the proximity sensor, no problem whatsoever. And as you can tell here, this runs really smoothly, and in the end, we got to a result of. 46.11 frames per second for the OpenVR benchmark tool on this particular system and so far that is the best value. All right, Rift CV1 46 frames per second on this system and yeah, for the Rift CV1 you really don't have very high system requirements, a fantastic headset still for people with a very slow GPU. And multiplier of 1.7, so this is 70% more performant than the Reverb G2 in this benchmark. However, if you compare this with the Reverb G2 at half resolution mode, you see that you still get more frames per second for the Reverb G2. 
And, well, the Reverb G2 at half resolution mode still looks way better than the Rift CV1. Alright, we are nearly through with our headsets here and this is the Samsung Odyssey Plus. As you know, I'm a big fan of the Samsung Odyssey Plus and this has been a recommendation on this channel for quite a long time and I would still recommend this headset. So, for the Samsung Odyssey Plus we get to the following result. 51.84 frames per second. Wow, this is a really good result. So, Samsung Odyssey Plus comes in at 52 frames per second here and nearly double as good as the Reverb G2. And even when the Reverb G2 runs at 50% mode, still you get more frames per second here with the Odyssey Plus. So, what does this mean? Well, it means on your system, if you're using the Reverb G2 after using the Odyssey Plus, you will have around the same performance if you're using the Reverb G2 at half resolution mode. And we're getting to the last headset of this test and that is the original Vive. And you can already see it flowing here. This works really fine and in the end we get to a result of 56.15 frames per second and that is the best value here, the best result of this OpenVR benchmark comparison. So, original Vive 56 frames per second and well, that is a multiplayer of 2.07 as compared to the Reverb G2. So, you have more than double as many frames as with the Reverb G2 at full resolution. And this means that the Reverb G2 is double as demanding as the original Vive. And comparing this to the half resolution mode of the Reverb G2, you still get 12% more frames here with the original Vive. And that's it for this comparison. If you're wondering how the Pimax 8KX would perform, I did not include this here because, well, the 8KX needs at least a 2080 and it would be unfair to run this here on this 2070 Super. I have a 2080 Ti system coming up here on this channel and then I'm going to run the two headsets against each other. And that's it for this video. I really hope that this was helpful for you and could provide value to you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet and if you want to see more videos just like this one here, then absolutely subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. That's it and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.